Hi, welcome to Fusion Fitness Online. Jen and Casey here. We're looking at contemporary Pilates versus classical Pilates. And today we're showing a contemporary exercise using the leg springs on the reformer. Now, we have the trap convertible here on the reformer. And very often we'll um, hook the springs and use the reformer and the tower as one. But a lot of you don't have this. So actually Marie Jose showed me this and I thought it was brilliant. So we're just hooking up the long yellow leg springs to the risers. So now, no matter mm -hmm. what kind of reformer you have, you can do this. Now, they only come up so high, right? But it is a very interesting line of pull when you're working here. It's very different from hooking it on the tower because the tower doesn't have the lower hook options. So, and I feel like this really gets into my hamstrings and really wakes up the back of my body. But, of course, it's low here, so you have to be careful about the spring hitting the client. Um, we're just using the, the loops to be easy today. A better option would be the thigh cuff because the thigh cuff you can hook closer to the knee, um, lower on the thigh, and get it tighter. So it's not going to be as low. So that's a better option, but, but this definitely works. All right, so I'm going to hook Casey up into our second spring. Good. And now I'm wanting her to keep her feet on the bar for this footwork. So very different, <laughs> def very different line of pull than your classical footwork. And I have her on two reds and a blue because she needs to be that heavy, right? So the springs can um, be opposing each other. So let's start on the arch of your feet. You feel comfortable there? Yeah. All right. Yes, that looks good. All right. So on your inhale, go ahead and press out to a straight leg. So she's loading the springs of the reformer as well as loading the springs around her legs as she goes down. So these straps, she is getting that message of pressing down into the straps and really turning on that whole line of the back body. Yeah, all the way to the arches of the feet. Right, mm -hmm. yes. And so she chose to start with the arches of her feet, right? And she has to, right? She has to keep feeding and yawning her feet into that bar to, um, to keep herself grounded. Mm -hmm. Very good. And just do a few more, Case. And Casey, can you find more of the outer back strap when you straighten the legs? Good. Nice. And last one. Yeah, she good. That them. looks great. Mm -hmm. So what you can see is where they're favoring on their foot. And, you know, you could cue the inner or the outer back of the strap. You can really feel where you want to go to mm -hmm. such a good direction. Good, good. Nice. Now from here, let's go on to the balls of the feet. And do your Pilates V. Mm -hmm. So this is a nice way that you can do external to parallel, um, sliding the feet on the foot bar. So staying in external rotation, I want you to inhale, press out to a straight leg, and then these straps are gonna cue the femur bone. So she's gonna spin into her parallel, using the straps to help guide her, and then gently bend and come back in. Ooh, yes, and it's hard to get it into that that last half inch. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really a challenge when you're coming in. Good, and just one more. She goes into external rotation and really keen into that um, first ray position. Good, especially on that right foot. There you go, good, all right, nice. So that was just a few combinations. You'll be seeing more with these leg springs, so tune in, thanks.